Alright, so it's time to get into modules now. And I seem to think that modules is something that I don't really need to explain because I think if you've gone through other people's scripts, you would have figured out how to use them already and what they do. But anyway, at the top here, above your, all your methods and stuff, uh, type in module. As you see, it's a keyword, so it turns blue. Now, here is just like. Uh, alias names. You need to write in something unique for your modules. Alright, so for me, it's the same as my aliases, dp3, name, relevant crap, and whatever. But in this case, I'm just going to call it, uh, pfft, cool. Because I, I can't think of anything else. End. So it's just like a class in that sense. Now, inside of your modules, you can type in, uh, constant variables. They have to be constant. And as we remember, constant means it has to have a capital letter at the start of it. So I can type in boolean. And here I can type in either true or false. So in this case, I will... Uh, let's just go with false. How about false? And uh, we can do some more constants and float equals to uh, 54.384. Yes. Okay. So, what a module is, essentially, it's a class that is initialized all the time, <coughs> at all times. So you have stuff here like a uh, collision sound, the game player stuff. If you can recall, we, uh, the collision sound timer was not activated um, if we went to the continue option, rather than new game, because of the initialized stuff, right? So, the difference here is when it comes to modules, modules are always initialized. Always. That's just the way they work. Which means I can call a module from anywhere. I can even go up here and call in module cool dot boolean stuff. But I won't. So in the method here we can go cool because that's the name of our module. I think that needs to be a capital. Capital. Now you do two columns. Now what you've done is you've essentially gone down a scope. So now you're actually inside of the cool module. Okay? Now I can go boolean. And now I have access to boolean. So it's um boolean's either true or false, as if you can remember. So if cool boolean uh actually we'll go message box go P um hooray if cool boolean you can go to true. True. Play it. I guess not. Because it's equal to false. So, we can change this to true now. Play. Hooray! And that's how modules work. So that's all you really need to know about modules. That's really simple stuff. In the next tutorial I'll get into how to make methods with modules and with modules like I said they're accessed from anywhere so uh, that means I can have a method that's pretty global in this sense and modules are, are more better than global variables because it's kind of compact in a way that you have control over what happens in it but essentially modules are used a lot so you probably would have seen them a lot at this point in stage, so I thought this tutorial was kind of pointless in that sense, but I decided to do it anyway. Um, as long as you know how to access them, and you know that they, they are great for editable regions for scripts, then you're good to go. Just, uh, yeah, till next tutorial, next tutorial guys.